Some coffee's fast, but not fresh. Some coffee's fresh, but only after a long wait. Speedway coffee is made fresh at the push of a button, hot or iced, so you can have fresh coffee your way, right away. Find a store near you at speedway.com slash locations. What up, what up, what up, Ethers? And welcome to another edition of Sports Ethos DFS Today. This is your Tuesday, November 30th, the last day of November edition. I am Santino Cocone, and I am joined here by the one, the only, DJ Sammy Caps. How you doing tonight, man? Good. I'm doing well. It's, man, a lot's changed. (laughs) <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on the pod, but I'm uh, happy to be back. I'll be here weekly with you guys, and it's nice to have a new name, Sports Ethos. It's it's a right. good name. Yeah, last time you were here, we we had a different name, um, a little more games. It's a big difference, big difference. It was a different month, I believe, or maybe not. I can't can't remember now, but no, yeah. it definitely was. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little bit of a, a time, big difference. Now we're about to be into the December territory very shortly. I know it's gone by fast. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we have a nice uh, nice five-game slate for everybody here. Uh, we have two games at 7.30, then a break. Everybody can go, grab lunch. Uh, I said I was about to say lunch. You can grab <laughs> dinner and do what you want. Then we have a 10 p.m., uh, three games at 10 p.m., with one game highlighting the entire slate. Uh, and we'll get to that when we get to that. But that's going to be a very interesting game. Uh, you ready to get into this, man? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Uh, So we have on the first game of the docket, we have at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, we have the Brooklyn Nets taking on New York Knicks in Brooklyn for the spread. We have a 218.5 game total, and the Nets are 6.5 point home favorites. On the injury report, we have Nick Claxton, Joe Harris, who's going to be out for a while, and Kyrie Irving uh, and David Duke Jr. all out for the Nets. On the Knicks side of the ball, we have um, Nerlens Noel, Derrick Rose, Taj Gibson, R.J. Barrett, all as questionable. And we just got news that uh, Kemba Walker is going to be out of the rotation for a little bit, but we will get to that momentarily because the first game or the first team we're attacking is the New York Knicks. And I'll throw it over to you, man. Who are you liking on this Knicks side? With so many people questionable, I guess we got to look out for the injury report. Uh, we got some shaking and, and moving on that starting lineup as well and in the rotation. Yeah, um, I'm obviously looking at Julius Randle. I mean, it's Brooklyn, so they're going to be a tough team. So I think they're going to definitely need Randle to do his thing. And with the news that Kemba's going to be out, I, I got to get my boy D. Rose, Derek Rose in there. Um, he's been a nice fit, I think. Uh, trying to teach Walker this year a little bit, but with them being in the starting lineup, I, I think it'll be a good shot to use him in the lineups tonight, our lineups tonight. Yeah, we got to see if he plays first, too, because he's questionable. But uh, if he does at 4-3, I think Derek Rose does make sense. He's going to be – there's extra minutes to go around with uh, Kemba Walker not in the rotation right now. Uh, but if Rose doesn't play, Alex Burke – is going to continue. He, he should start at point guard, like uh, Tib said, and continue to start there. Uh, so that's good to go. I like him at 5,600. Manual quickly at 4,800. Um, he's certainly in the rotation. Makes more sense if Derrick Rose isn't there. Um, and then RJ Barrett is also questionable. We got a few guys on this. Uh, we might have no Derrick Rose, no RJ Barrett, uh, no Kemba Walker. So <laughs> that opens things up for uh, guys like Quickly and Burks and, and Fournier. We'll see who ultimately is in and who ultimately is out. Uh, but also with Nerlens Noel and Taj Gibson questionable, uh, Obi Toppin at 3,400 gets more mm-hmm. minutes. And we saw Jericho Sims at a bare minimum 3K play some minutes last game. Uh, Mitch Robb is going to get a ton of run at 4,200. Uh, so he's he's another option. But that I like that guy Jericho Sims. I think his game is good. I think the Knicks have a lot of very cheap options to play depending on who's in and who's out. But uh, I still think... Burks, Fournier, or Burks quickly, uh, Mitch Robb, 
they make sense regardless. Derrick Rose, if he's in. Uh, and then, yeah, Julius Randle, the big guy, in a good matchup, like you said. Awesome. You want to jump on over to Brooklyn? Who are you liking on that side of the ball? Uh, well, obviously, the big guys, KD, mm-hmm. Harden. Um, but I'm looking at Aldridge. Uh, he's looking like the LMA of old. Um, as long as he gets 25 minutes, I think we could we could see him be his old young self. It's kind of surprising, at least in my opinion, how well he's been playing and meshing with the Nets team this year. Yeah. Uh, anyone else outside of Aldridge? Um, right now, not really. Um, really, that's all I'm looking at. What about you, though? I feel like you have yeah. a couple more people. <laughs> no, I like that. Um, I don't. I think both KD and Harden make sense. I would. I prefer KD, just because mm-hmm. Harden was still saying he doesn't know what he should sh- shoot or or not. This might be a greasy wheel type of situation for him. I could see that coming, and he's been playing great anyway, regardless. Um, and Aldridge, I do like that. Four of the last five games since the uh, the Golden State Warrior game, where he just barely he only played at the end of the game. Uh, he's played 30 minutes twice and 20 minutes at least four of those five games. So uh, he's getting the minutes there, like you mentioned, if, as long as he gets 20-something. And he's bringing back value here. So I, I do like him as well. This is a good matchup for him. There might not be Nerlens Noel. There might not be Taj. Even if he does come off the bench, he did start the last one without Griffin. Uh, good matchup for him. 5,700 is not bad. And I do think um, Bembry, Bruce Brown, uh, Patty Mills even, but mostly Bembry and Bruce Brown make a lot of sense. With Joe Harris out for the foreseeable future, one of those guys is going to start. Bembry had a really good game in the last one, uh, but there's minutes to go around. And Bembry's actually played 35, 26, 23, and 41 in the last mm-hmm. four. Don't really love him because Bruce Brown did miss some time. But uh, one of those guys is, is I don't mind taking a flyer on either of them, especially with all of the firepower that we have on this slate. Awesome, man. And we got uh, the second game of the night we'll jump into. We have the Memphis Grizzlies taking on the Toronto Raptors in Toronto. Uh, We have for the spread, we don't have a spread at the moment. On the injury report, we have Ja, unfortunately, is out. Sam Merrill's out. Zaire Williams is questionable. The Raptors, we have OG, Kim Burke, and Goran Dragic all out. Gary Trent Jr. as questionable. I'll throw it over to you. We know Jaws not playing. Who are you looking at um, to help fill that void? And uh, what are you liking? And the Grizzlies surprisingly dominated the Kings the other night in their first game without uh, first complete game without Ja. I know that's that. I was not looking forward to that. I I didn't expect it at all. I mean, Kings are playing decently well too. I mean, they're the Kings, but <laughs> just that was crazy. Um, but anyways, I'm. It's kind of tough. I know Tyus Jones has been getting more minutes, um, but I think I'm leaning towards the Anthony Melton. He got 18 minutes in that Kings game, and he he had more production, I, in my opinion, than Jones did. And Jones had more minutes. More minutes. Um, Melton had 14 points, five boards, four assists, and I think especially against the Raptors team. I mean, I know they're not as scary as they used to be, but I, in my opinion, these teams are kind of similar and they're, they're close with each other. Um, so I think it could be a good mountain game. Shop on eBay this holiday season to get more for your dough on stand mixers Mm. or get more for your buck on this season's hottest tech and gaming gear. And on eBay, you can even get more. (gasps) Bling for less cha-ching on jewelry. You can get more because you save more on premium brands with eBay's exclusive deals. Get more when you get it on eBay. At VA, veterans receive the best care available to meet their unique needs, and they are treated with the respect and compassion they deserve. Choose VA today. Visit choose.va.gov. Yeah, I like Melton, too. Uh, all their price tags jumped up from the last game. Everybody was a little depressed on a small slate. But Melton uh, jumped up pretty big here at 5,100. So did Tyus. Um, I still prefer Melton over 
Tyus. Tyus is going to start. It's always been like that the last couple of years uh, since they had Ja. <clears throat> when he's missed time, Tyus Jones is pretty much a one for one. But Melton went from in the ro- starting, kind of out of the rotation, or not out of the rotation, but uh, minutes in the teens to hurt. Now he's back and Ja's out, so there's a lot more. Uh, playmaking and responsibility there. I think he's going to get a lot of minutes, like you mentioned. I do prefer him here uh, over Tyus Jones. Um, Dylan Brooks is going to shoot 20 times in this game, probably like for the likely as long as the game is competitive. Uh, and 20 points is very reasonable. 20 actual points. Don't hate him at 7K, uh, but I'll probably have more exposure to a Jaron Jackson Jr. and a Brandon mm-hmm. Clark at their price tags. I think Triple J. I really like in the matchup against. Uh, the Raptors front court. Uh, he's going to be the lead. Actually, I, I would say he's going to be the alpha, but Dylan Brooks is never one to shy away from taking a ton of shots. So, right. Uh, <laughs> but Jaron Jackson Jr. is has a more well-rounded game, and I like him for a couple hundred dollars cheaper. And Brandon Clark has just been super productive. Um, you can take advantage of the Raptors front court at 3,700. I don't mind putting him in the lineup and taking a chance on him, uh, though you can't bank on 20 minutes from him. It's uh, they just love to play Steven Adams there. But I'm with you. I like Melton, and I like uh, Jaron Jackson a lot here. I do, too. I agree. With, definitely agree with you with Triple J. Awesome. And we'll jump on over to the Raptor side of the ball. Um, who are you feeling on on this side? Um, I mean, outside of the obvious, not much. Um, I'm looking at Van Vliet, Siakam. And I'm looking at OG. Oh, OG is out now, it mm-hmm. seems like. Um, so I think I'm just really looking at Siakam and Van Fleet uh, to try to try to carry them. I I think the Grizzlies are going to take it tonight, honestly. This is going to be tough for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like, yeah, and I like Van Vliet without Ja a little bit more in this one. Um, but I also like Scotty Barnes, especially if Gary Trent doesn't play. I think Scotty Barnes at 7K is a really solid price tag. Uh, without Gary Trent, and he's going to be locked in the lineup at whatever position they can find him in. He'll play anywhere from shooting guard to power forward. Uh, they really like this kid, and he's been fantastic. Uh, if Trent doesn't play, Svee should start again at 3,800. You can look his way, and that means um, more minutes around the rotation for a Precious and uh, Chris Boucher, but Precious is, is the guy you want to target there. Uh, I like taking shots at Barnes, Precious, and Svee if there's no Trent. Um, and if there is Trent, then I would put Barnes, Trent, and Precious all in my player pool at uh, different varying prices. But I think they're all – it's a pretty good matchup. And we might see – I don't know if Memphis is going to come out like gangbusters again in, in that mm-hmm. last one. Um, but I, I think there is could be a pretty good game. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to jump on over to the last three games of the night, all starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we should have the news on everybody um, for the first two games start at the same time and the last three start at the same time, which is pretty rare, but we I like it. Uh, and this is the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Sacramento Kings. A couple nights ago, these teams played to 87 and a half overtimes. Uh, I kid, but it was, it was a lot. It was four <laughs> overtimes. They played all night. Uh, on the Lakers side of the ball, we have... Trevor Ariza, out. Kendrick Nunn, out. LeBron, Avery Bradley, questionable. And Anthony Davis, as probable. On the Kings, we have um, Harrison Barnes is doubtful. Mo Harkless is questionable. And that means Rashawn Holmes is off the injury report and is in. We don't have a spread for this one, uh, but we should soon. I would expect a high-scoring game like they did in the last one. Not as high, because I don't think four overtimes is is a a realistic call again. But... um, yeah, big high scoring game here. And we'll throw it on over to you, man. Who are you looking at on this this Lakers side? Um well, I mean, since LeBron is not gonna be in, I'm obviously looking at A D, Anthony Davis. And now I'm really looking at Westbrook a little more. Um when I knew that LeBron or had a chance of playing at least, he's, I wasn't really He's big. questionable, so he could play. Yeah. Okay, so then this is how I would lay it out. I would, if LeBron plays, I really wouldn't be looking at Westbrook. Um, and I really don't think he's worth the pay up, but if he doesn't play, then I would be looking more his way. Um, cause I feel like Westbrook then will have 
just more opportunities um, like we've seen in the past when LeBron hasn't played. And I think he might be worth a little more on that pay up. Um, so you really just have to have to watch LeBron's status and see what he happens for tonight's game. Yeah, and I I, I like LeBron in this one. I, I would expect that he keeps getting questionable and he's playing through it. Uh, he'll probably miss one here or there, but yeah, I would since they're playing hit or miss right now. I do. I would expect him to play. I like him. I like Westbrook. Uh, I think they're both decent. I would prefer LeBron at four hundred dollars cheaper. Um, outside of that. Avery Bradley, if he doesn't play, that means someone else gets into the starting lineup. We could see uh, Taylor Horton Tucker. We could see Malik Monk get there. Uh, maybe they play smaller and put AD at center. We'll see. They've been starting Jordan or Howard. Jordan started the last one. Mm-hmm. Um, if Monk or Tucker start, don't mind either of them, especially Monk with 4,200. I think they will both make sense in a, in a solid, a good matchup where you can take advantage of, as we have in the past as well, uh, shooting guards against the Kings. But we'll have to see what happens on the injury report. If Avery Bradley's starting and playing, uh, don't want as much exposure to them, but I'll take a chance on, on Malik Monk at uh, 42. But I'll just leave mainly leave them alone. I think we have a lot of value elsewhere. Right. Jumping on over to the Kings, man. Who are you looking on this side of the ball? Are you looking at your guy, uh, Fox, or can you look at Holmes <laughs> coming back? Listen, I do like Fox, and I may have made a mistake in our nine cat league. All right, but <laughs> I am looking at Holmes, honestly. Um, I mean, I have to go with my guy Fox, but to get a little more value, I am looking at Holmes. Um, he's been playing twenty eight minutes, thirty one minutes, and he's been giving us value back. Um, so I think he'll be a nice fill in, especially if we don't want to pay up at center, like we were just talking about AD. Um. I think it'll be a good a good fill-in, and I don't know. Do you think he might get bullied by AD a little bit? No, I don't think so. I think AD plays – I love AD, but he plays very passive a lot of times. Uh, don't I don't know what's up. Sometimes he's very, very dominant. Sometimes he plays very soft. Uh, but Rashawn Holmes is going to definitely hold his own. And I'm with yeah. you. I, I do like Rashawn Holmes at 6,200. Um, he's officially – he's not on the injury report now. Uh, he did miss the last couple games, so I guess this may change. <laughs> but right now, he's not on the official injury report. Uh, they do have Barnes. They do have uh, uh, Harkless there, so they took him off. And I do. he would be my favorite play on this team, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you can look at, I like Fox, Halliburton, Heald. They all make sense. I'd probably go Heald here at the cheap, as the cheapest or Halliburton. Um, but this is going to be a high-scoring game. We don't have a spread here, but I can't imagine it being... Uh, the highest is the next game at 221. This is this should be the highest game of the night, uh, probably approaching 230, maybe, maybe even more. It's it's going to be super high, so I don't mind getting a lot of exposure, especially since uh, a lot of these guys like Bagley, who had a good game against these guys, um, Davion Mitchell, Terrence Davis, who's in the rotation now with no Holmes, I mean with no uh, Barnes and Harkless. A lot of these guys are very cheap, so I will have a lot of exposure to this side of the ball. Right, and then, you know what? We're gonna skip this next game because that's the game of the the night. Maybe even this 2021 season uh, until we hit switch over to the calendar year. So we're gonna jump on over to the last game of the night, and we're gonna flip back onto that next one. Uh, but this one is Detroit Pistons taking on the Portland Trailblazers again, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a 216 game total, and the Blazers are nine and a half point home favorites. So a big home spread there. Uh, for the Blazers. On the injury report, we don't have anybody for the Pistons. I mean, we don't have anybody for uh, the Blazers. They are playing on Monday, so they are on the back end of a back-to-back here. We'll have to keep an eye on what happens. But for the Pistons, we have we do have an injury report. Uh, Killian Hayes is in. Frank Jackson is questionable. Isaiah Livers, Kelly Olynyk are both out. Uh, throw it over to you, man. What are you looking at on this Detroit side of the ball? Uh, possibly Frank Jackson out. Uh, can you attack them against this Blazers team? Yeah, I mean, there's really not much. And when I'm, I was writing the article, I was trying not to be harsh against <laughs> Detroit fans. But I mean, other than Grant, uh, even Cade Cunningham um, is who I'd be looking at if I were to put those guys in tonight. Um, I'd be looking at Kelly Olynyk or even Trey Lies as well. 
Um, let me get up Olenek's stats really quick. I had lies up, but yeah. oh, yeah, Olenek I'll, actually out. Yeah, yeah, yeah out so let's. Uh, I'm gonna be going towards lies, and that makes it easier for me. Um, I think he'll be a good start then, especially with Olenek out, because I had Olenek or lies. Um, and if Olenek was playing, I was gonna go over him because he's getting more minutes. But I think then Lies could take advantage. Uh, he's been he got 17 minutes, 15 minutes in the last couple games, and he's had 13 points in each game. Um, so I think with Olenek gone, that he could even get to mid 20s and get those minutes up, and even the rebounds. He had seven rebounds last game, so he could even maybe get close to a double double. Um, I mean, if Portland lets them. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Yeah, and I, I don't mind that. I uh, I don't mind Jaron Grant at seven three, but I probably won't have him. Uh, I, I I like Scotty Barnes more, and he's only a couple hundred cheaper. Uh, and there's other guys, people in Sacramento. I think people all over. So I probably won't have much Grant, even though I don't mind him. Uh, Cunningham, I think he's slightly above where I want to pay for him in this matchup, even though it's pretty solid. Um, I'm looking more towards like an Isaiah Stewart at forty six hundred. Uh, Frank Jackson, if he does play at 3,900, this could be a lot of garbage time. Frank Jackson thrives in garbage time. Uh, maybe even Diallo at 3,600. I'll take some chances on some cheap guys here. Um, uh, but uh, Isaiah Stewart should play a, a decent chunk here as well. Uh, Lyles, you mentioned, not bad. Uh, but I really don't want to have much exposure to the Detroit side of the ball either, as you mentioned. Right. Uh, let's jump on over to Portland. And who are you looking at over here? Um, really just the main guys. I mean, if you want to play up on Dame Lillard, maybe he'll get you what he usually does. Um, even in, I don't like, I, like you said, it's going to be garbage time. So I don't think they'll have him play his usual minutes because they really don't need him to. Um, so I might even, I might even keep Lillard out because we have a plenty, plenty of other guys at guard that we could put in for tonight. Um, and even CJ McCollum, I mean, McCollum's a little cheaper than, uh, Lillard is. And I think he, he could be a good fill-in or not really fill-in, but I mean, he, he's going to get his minutes and get his stats for tonight. Um, and I think they'll even sit Lillard over McCollum, um, if they have to, if it gets out of hand fast enough. And then I'm, I'm looking at Nurkic as well, um, as the big man in there. How about you? Right. Do you have Do you have any more? Anybody yeah, else? I like it. I think Nurk at sixty four does make sense. I uh, probably would go with the guy we mentioned earlier, Holmes, over him at two hundred dollars cheaper. I like Holmes a little bit better, but I think uh, Nurkic does make sense if you have, especially if you get a two center lineup. Uh, this is a good matchup. Isaiah Stewart, who I also don't mind at forty six for very cheap, just hasn't been as he was last year when he was playing and getting minutes. Uh, lot less production here this year. Nurkic's going to be in a good spot. 6400 is not a crazy price tag. Uh, so we'll see exactly what happens there. But um, we'll also, as you mentioned, got to keep an eye on the injury report. This is going to be the back end of a back-to-back. Maybe they don't play uh, Lillard in this one because they are 9.5-point favorites right now. Maybe they won't play uh, McCollum. Uh, that opens things up for Simons, who's ready to ready to start for someone. Uh, Norman Powell missed tonight's game. Uh, due to quad contusion, so he might not be in. If that's the case, Nasir Little at 3,500 makes a ton of sense. Uh, I think Larry Larry Nance and Robert Covington make a lot of sense too. Uh, I like a lot of the cheap guys here, and and that's before seeing what the injury report is. But uh, there could be some sneaky value here to be had, especially against a Detroit team that could see a lot of or a Detroit team traveling across the country uh, and about a 10 point spread. Uh, could see a lot of garbage time and, and some people like Nance and Little Covington getting some extra minutes here. So uh, that's where I'd, I'd mainly look, like you said. Yeah. All right, man. And then we're going to jump on over to the last game of the night. That's the, This is the big one. We have the NBA best Golden State Warriors, 18-2, and two, traveling to Phoenix to take on the NBA's second best and reigning conference champions, Phoenix Suns, who are on a seven or seventeen and three on a sixteen game winning streak. Uh, both these teams are on the uh, a seven game winning streak for the Warriors. Sixteen for the Suns. A massive game. 
Uh, the over-under in this one is 221, and the Suns are two-point home favorites. On the injury report, we have for the Warriors, Iguodala, Damian Lee, Clay Thompson, James Wiseman, all out. The Suns have Dario Saric, Abdel Nader, Frank Kaminsky out. Uh, I will throw it over to you, my friend. What are you looking at on this massive game with two of the best teams, not just the best teams, but the best defensive teams in the league as well, uh, taking it out? Uh, a combined 35 and 5 record for these two guys. Man. Yeah, no, I'm excited for this game. Um, I think if I'm spending up on a guy, I'm spending up on Curry because he's he's going to have to do his thing because, I mean, the Suns are tough. Um, but if I'm looking at someone cheaper to try to save us some money, I will be looking probably towards Otto Porter Jr.'s way. Uh, he's been getting mid to mid to low 20s the last couple games, but he's been doing his thing. Um uh, in their last game against the Clippers, he had 18 points, 10 rebounds, so he had that double-double. And I think, especially against the Suns, they they might be able to use him in tonight's game. What do you think? Yeah, and he had a really good game in the last game. Uh, he Otto Porter Jr. came out of uh, the woodworks, played 26 minutes against the Clippers at 18 and 10. I, yeah. I want to say that's got to be his best game of the season. Uh, 40 fantasy points. Don't mind that here. They're going to He'll probably play if he's ready to play mid twenties, 30 minutes, um, especially without or with Clay Thompson ramping back up. This is a good matchup for him to do that because the, the Suns are very versatile in their forward uh, and wing positions over here. So I don't mind him at 44 Curry does make sense at 11, four, but I'll probably get exposure to some of these other guys. Like uh, we mentioned LeBron, we mentioned uh, someone, people on the, the, Knicks and Nets game probably go more there because this is going to be a really good game uh, to watch. I don't know how much exposure I'll I'll certainly have, but um, Draymond Green is questionable, but he's expected to play. I think for the most part, I I like uh, like a Jordan Poole, Otto Porter, like you mentioned, and I probably won't have too much exposure to uh, any of the other guys like the the random players on the Warriors that are in and out, in and out of the lineup, sometimes have big games, but don't. But there is some extra minutes to go around with no Iggy and, and Lee there. Uh, I, I like your call with Porter. But let's jump on over to the Suns, the last team of the night, man. What are you looking on on this side of the ball? Yeah, um, really, I'm just I'm looking at the three main guys. Booker, Devin Booker, CP3, Chris Paul, and DeAndre Ayton. Um, I think Ayton, I think, would be worth the seven one, at least for, in my opinion, in my lineups, um, he's, he's had a down game. His last game, he played 31 minutes against Brooklyn. He had 10 points, six boards, and even a couple turnovers. But I mean, I, we're going to need him against the Warriors and they're, as we know, the Warriors are a hard team to stop. So I think Aiton's going to have to really cement, I don't want to say his dominance, but like his force in this game. And I think he could bring back some value even for, the 7,000 that we will be paying for him tonight. Yeah, I think Aiton's a, 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 decent, a good call here too, especially if uh, DeAndre, or well, Draymond Green doesn't play. I was going to say DeAndre Green. <laughs> Mix both <laughs> their names together. There you uh, go. Mix but, them up. Yeah, especially if, <laughs> especially if Green doesn't play, I, I like Aiton. I mean, even if he does, I think that's a solid price tag. Probably, again, we'll have more exposure to uh, Rashawn Holmes at uh, $900 cheaper but I don't mind going there in some tournaments and having different exposure. Um, Jay Crowder at 3,900. Don't mind taking a chance on him uh, for his, his cheap tag or a Cam Johnson at 34. Um, maybe some Michael Bridges, but I don't think I'll have a ton of exposure on, on either side of the ball here. Um, I think it's just going to be a fantastic game, and I think value is going to be – I don't know if anyone – I don't want to bet on anyone to crush their value in this game. I think it's going to be very defensive oriented uh, and people are going to hit value, but I don't think they're going to crush it. And that's what I'm looking for on, on my tournaments. Yeah, I agree. 100%. All right, man. Before we head on on here, I just want to say the NBA is back and at DraftKings Sportsbook, an authorized sports betting partner of the NBA. The key to victory is a strong starting five. New customers can bet just $5 on any NBA team to win their game. And if they do, you win $200 in free bets. Uh, DraftKings Sportsbooks customers can also get skin in the game with new same-game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a bigger payout. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. 
DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code MBA today. Bet just $5 on the NBA team to win their game, and you win $200 in free bets. If they win, you win with promo code MBA today this week at DraftKings Sportsbook, an authorized sports betting partner of the NBA. All right, man. Before we head on out of here, is there anything uh, you want to add? No, I think I think we're good. It was nice being All back. Right. Can't wait to <laughs> make this a weekly thing again. <laughs> I I agree. Can't wait to see you on on for Tuesday shows. We do this on Monday night, so I'll see you next Monday. Right, exactly. I'm All ready. right, awesome. So thank you guys for tuning in. We will catch you again tomorrow. I believe Mike will be on, and have a good night. Peace, peace, guys. Shop on eBay this holiday season to get more for your dough on stand mixers mm. or get more for your buck on this season's hottest tech and gaming gear. And on eBay, you can even get more <gasps> bling for less cha-ching on jewelry. You can get more because you save more on premium brands with eBay's exclusive deals. Get more when you get it on eBay. At Giant Eagle, we've always loved our perks. Now we're excited to welcome you all to the future of loyalty with my perks. There's no math, less rules, and more perks. 50 perks equals $1 off your total, and there are no limits. Plus, you earn perks even when you redeem, so you're always building rewards towards free gas and groceries. Guests who earn the most perks can now unlock My Perks Pro, and pros get even more pumped up savings. Visit GiantEagle.com slash MyPerks to switch today.